Chow so Chow Chin Chow, Shosh Beats Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke. So in the last episode, we made it right here to Exactu City. And I'm so glad that we made it finally to the 8th Gym Town. And in today's episode, we're going to be adventuring around this place. So, yeah, I cannot wait for that. Uh, this is the... I believe right here is the gym. Something pushes you up. Something pushes you. Okay, so we can't go in the gym just yet. Uh, so I guess we go into this cave, but let's go into the safari zone first. Welcome to the park. For just 500 pounds, you can catch all the Pokemon you want within this park. Do you want to join the hunt? Yeah, sure. We use a special Pokeball here. 30 park balls. Okay. Now, I'm going to run a special rule that is Safari Zone Claws. I love Safari Zone Claws because it is my rule. And other people do use it sometimes too. But literally, like, I invented this rule. Basically, I'm allowed to uh, throw my Pokeballs at any encounter I want. I'm allowed to throw only Pokeballs until I catch something. Whatever I catch is my encounter for the Safari Zone. If a Pokemon runs away, it is not the end of my catching spree. Because the fact is, that just means it isn't that it isn't my Pokemon. So, that's the way I use this. It guarantees me one encounter, uh, one encounter in here. Which can be good, can be bad. But that's just the way I play Safari Zones. You know, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. But that's just the way I will play Safari Zones every single time. So... Yeah, I'm only allowed to throw Pokeballs. I'm not allowed to go near. I'm not allowed to go to rock, uh, go for rocks or anything like that. So I know that Pokemon can run away, and I don't think that's fair for me to say, hey, that's the end of the route because my Pokemon ran away. See, I don't think that's fair. This Magma just ran. If I was just playing, if I didn't, in fact, enact Safari Zone Claws, that would have been the end of my encounters for the Safari Zone, and that's not fair. Now that is dupes. Du Wait, hang on. Damn it. I just realized it's not dupes. I'm so I'm just going to I'm just going to wave that one off. I'm just going to keep on cat I'm just keep on going to catch the balls until I get my pokemon. Okay, Rhyhorn is my pokemon. It's the spikes pokemon. Mass its massive bones are 1,000 times harder than humans' bones. It can easily knock a uh, knock a trailer flying. Oh. What do I want to call a Rhyhorn? I've never used a Rhyhorn before, and I probably won't in this game because my team's pretty much made. But... I believe that's how you spell it. I'm going to call you Rykwin. After my good friend Rykwin. Who's the uh, coach of the Nido Queens Park Rangers. So yeah, I'll call it that. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to find in here, here sadly. Because, well, basically I can't find anything else. That is my encounter for the Safari Zone. I guess I could have caught uh, Nidoran as well, but ah, variety. It's fine. I'm probably never going to end up using that. Uh, I'm probably never going to end up using Rykwin anyway. Nugget. I don't actually know what's in here in the original games of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow Surface in the Safari Zone, so. I'm just going to play around and see what happens. I'm going to catch. Wow, I'm going to go catch Pokemon to take home as gifts. Where did my boy... F Where's my boyfriend... Where did my boyfriend Eric go? I don't know. Trainer tips. Pokemon hide in tall grass. Zigzag through the grassy areas to flush them out. 
Um, I could do, but I'd also just rather just not. So yeah, if I run out of steps in here, that's totally fine because I don't actually know if there's anything in here I need uh, to actually go for. You know, I don't know if there's an item in here I need or anything like that that I need to actually go ahead and get. So yeah, if there is, you guys can let me know in the comment section down below because I have no ideas what I actually am in here for other than to get my encounter. I know where strength is, so I don't need to worry about it. TM10? What is TM10? Double Edge. No, thank you. I mean, Double Edge is a pretty cool move. It's just recall as a thing, and that scares me. Especially with the amount of recall that Double Edge does. So, yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Oh, there's a cave! This requires strength to move. Um. I don't know what I'm doing in here, really. Does this still count as a part of the safari zone? No, it doesn't. Um, no, it doesn't count as part of the Safari Zone, so this is interesting. This is a new route. I don't know where the hell I am, but this is a new route. And this gravel is my first encounter for this new route. So I'm going to just keep on cutting you until you get down to a area where you are catchable. Hopefully you won't blow up on me. Because if you do, there's not really much I can do. It shouldn't kill James though. It really shouldn't kill James. If you keep on spamming defense curl, that's good. Okay, you dance to red. Rock throw, missed. Leech seed, come through. Right, let's do this. Go, Pokeball! We caught the Graveler, the rock Pokemon. Rolls down slopes. To move, it rolls over any obstacle without slowing or changing its direction. I have a nickname for you, and it will always be named this because I always name my uh, Geodudes this. This is Baller. Okay. There clearly looks like there's trainers in here. I'm going to save the game. Just in case these trainers are overleveled, I will reset the game. Okay? So if these trainers are over if these trainers are over leveled to where I need to be, then I will reset the game. They're not, so I don't need to worry about it. I do not need to worry about these guys. I'm kind of glad about that too. Nice. Tentacool. Uh, zap. Yeah, I was kind of worried. That's why I saved the game. I was kind of worried that we were going to be dealing with level 70 bombs again. So, yeah, I'm kind of glad that we're not. You're not living this. There we go. Your X item was just not worth you using it at all. Meganium. Yo, Lisa. Show people what we do to Meganiums. We go up. 
and we fly down on them, and that should kill. No, doesn't kill, but super effective. I can take a body slam as long as it's no paralyzed, and there is no paralyzed. Lisa goes to level 51. Nice work, Lisa. There's an item here. Max Revive. That's not useful to me at all. Um, There's a Strength Rock there. That's where we came up. That's the end of my Safari game. Okay. That was weird. That was a weird way to end my Safari game. I didn't realize there were trainers in the Safari zone. I'm going to count that Geodude as another area, so that's just what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to count that as another area. Anyway, so I guess we're going through this cave now. Ooh, don't know where we're going, but I guess we're going through here because I think we need to go and get strength and the mist stone is a thing too. Okay, so our encounter, I think this is called the Region Tunnel, is a ditto. I don't want it. I don't want it. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care about my encounter. Don't want a ditto. I no longer care about my encounters, especially when it's ditto. No longer caring. I don't care what you guys say. D Ditto's just disgusting and wrong and sickening. So, yeah, I'm just not dealing with Ditto's. I mean, there's really no need for me to deal with Ditto's. Hello, mate. Yeah, it is very confusing. But here we are, right here, back in uh, the second... We're back in Haywood C. And in this person's house right here is the person with the red amulet. But I didn't go and get the red amulet, so I need to go and get that. God damn it, I just realized I need to go and get that. I don't have the red amulet on me right now. Sadly, I have to go all the way back to go and uh, get this. But at least we have fly, and I'll, I'll make a cut. I will make a cut to deal with this. So, deposit items. I have loads of items I need now deposit. TM29 for Psychic. Uh, TM15 for Hyper Beam. TM10 for Double Edge. I can sell the Max Revive. I can sell the Nugget, and I will. Oh, yeah, I need to get the Red Amulet. That's why I came down here. That's why I came here. Withdraw item. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a cut, and I actually wait. I'm gonna go heal my team first, and then I'm gonna make a cut, and then we'll deal with this uh, area. Okay, so I will see you guys back at the house. And hello, we are back. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I guess I took a little longer than I wanted to take, because, especially because like Animal Crossing Direct was today, but then I'm recording this, so I really wanted to go and see that. So it did, didn't. Act, this took actually a couple of minutes to get back here, but like the fact is, Animal Crossing Direct is a thing, and I really wanted to see that. I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. So to those people who are <laughs> were annoyed by me going away for 20 minutes. I did stop the recording, so you guys won't even notice the fact that I was away for like 20 minutes, but still, I love Animal Crossing. 
Joe gave the red amulet to the man. The man put the red amulet in his pocket. Thank you so much, kid. Um, no problem now. Uh, what's that? Reward. Oh yeah, the HM that allows you to push boulders. HMO4, thank you. Now let me push some boulders. Uh, who can learn this? Emma and Steve can learn it. I guess I'm going to give it to Emma. I guess for now, we'll get rid of Poison Sting, because it is Poison Sting, it's not necessary, it's one of the worst Poison type moves you can have, so I'll get rid of Poison Sting for strength. And now if we push this out here, there's the Mist Stone! That all allows to get into the 8th gym. So now... Let's fly back to Exactu City. And... Let's go into the gym. Now there's a little bit of an adventure before we go into the gym, a little bit of a cave. So, new encounters! Uh, let's go for a pickleball straight off the bat and see what happens. Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd go off the bat, but... I don't want to hurt you. I don't even know if I can hurt... Well, I guess I could leech seed poison powder you, I guess, but I really don't want to do that. Yay! Don't have to. Machop, the super-powered Pokemon, loves to build its muscles. It trains... In all styles of martial arts to become even stronger. Okay, so I have a name for the chops. It is always it will always be this. So if you've ever I'm a huge wrestling fan and one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. He was not the best MMA fighter, but he was a really good wrestler in his time. CM Punk. Also, it's the nickname of the Machop I had in Pokemon um, Red and Blue Rescue Team, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red and Blue Rescue Team, which is an LP on from the very early days of Joe's PH games. So yeah, hint hint, go and watch that LP. Because it's just an awesome game, and I love Mystery Dungeon. Don't the Mystery Dungeon is one of the best games in the world. It is. Just, it just is. It is one of the best Pokemon games that ever was. I've never cried before in a Pokemon game uh, from normal story, but with Mystery Dungeon, oh my god. Almost, I, like, I was in tears in Red and Blue Rescue game, in Red and Blue Rescue team uh, during the end credits of that game. So, yeah. I would suggest you watching that LP and like I don't cry in the LP, but like I I I should. I really did enjoy that LP. TM forty three, nice. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I can do here. Um, maybe what I need to do is go back down. And then go across. And one more. There we go. Up here. And there we go. That's how we needed to do it. Found a rare candy. Nice. I'll keep that for later. I guess I'm going to need that for slightly less grinding to do with the Elite Four. Which was always useful. Slightly less grinding is always useful. I like slightly less grinding. I don't think we'll be able to get this 8th Gym badge today, but... 
we might be able to... We'll get into the gym today. That's what I will tell you. We might be able to get this 8th gym badge today. You know what? We might be able to get it. I'm... I might make this episode just that slightly bit longer. Because we know we've gone like 20 minutes, but... How, why can't we do three in a row? Why can't we do three gyms in a row? A Caesar? Well, I don't really have things to do with Caesar. Um, yeah, I don't really have things to do with Caesar. I'm going to go with Steve. Steve, you surf. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of things to do with Caesar, but I guess it, Surf is pretty cool. Did a lot of damage, so I will definitely take it. Swift did almost nothing to me. Nice. Nice work, Steve. I broke the entrance spell. I'm a very happy person who did that. Now, but you have four Pokemon and you start off with Meganium. Uh, Lisa is the person I want to bring in here. Especially since I don't have Poison Sting on Emma anymore. Body Slam. Thank God for no Paralyze. Go up, please, Lisa. But I don't like the X attack. But you probably aren't living uh, whatever I do to you. Oh, you missed poison powder. Fine. Die. Typlosion. Steve. Deal with Typlosion. With Surf. You ain't living this. You ain't living this, Cyplosion. I guess today's question of the day can be, what games other than Pokemon do you enjoy? Yeah, that's could be today's question of the day. I mean, for me, I love the Pokemon side games. I love, uh, like, for example, I, just, I love... Uh, I love things like Mystery Dungeon, Ranger, and stuff like that. But I also love Animal Crossing. I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing, and... I might start leaving my dream address in the description down below and possibly on my Twitter as well because if you want to visit my town of Jodo, you can uh, you can visit my town of Jodo anytime you want. Yes, that's right. My town is named Jodo. And why not? It's an amazing name for a town. And now that we've got the new Animal Crossing Direct coming in, and I can be amazingly happy with what else is coming to Jodo. Because just, yeah, I love Je I love my little town of Jodo now. I used to have an old town called Chester, named after my hometown, but like... And I feel like Jodo's been such more better for me, and I feel like there's a lot more I can do with Jodo than I was ever going to do with Chester, really. So I'm glad I sort of switched it up a bit. Hey, y'all. Champ in the making. This is the hardest gym yet. I've heard the gym leader uses ground-type Pokemon, so water and grass would do best against him. True, but Giovanni likes to use a variety of different Pokemon as well. Okay, so this is exactly like Giovanni's uh, gym in the games, except for the fact that it's in a cave. So, yeah, this is going to be rather interesting, since it's in a cave now. Heracross. Yo, Lisa. Seismic toss. Is that gonna do fifty it's gonna do fifty damage? That does a fifty damage is quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, you're not living in this counter. Yeah, you're not living. So you can you can't counter me. And I'm a champ. Yeah, 
You might live. Ooh, hex attack. Ooh, that's scary. Ooh, that's scary. Oh my god, I missed. Oh, you missed with Leah. Okay, I'm healing. I'm healing. I don't care. I'm healing. Stop using exit items! Lisa, if you don't kill... Focus energy! Get this thing out of here, Lisa! Okay. That thing was boosting its attack. It was ready to kill Lisa. And I did not want it to kill Lisa. I did not want it to kill Lisa. You get back up to full health, Lisa. And you, Steve. And James, don't freaking I forgot about you, too. I know you only needed 18 health, but, you know. Lemonades are both the smallest and the biggest items I have right now. And I still don't think I'm ready to switch up to Hyper Potions just yet. I mean, for the Elite Four and uh, Pokemon League, I will switch up to Hyper Potions and uh, Max Potions and Full Restores and stuff like that. But for now, I'm happy with just Lemonade. Now you're faster than me. Yes, that is true. But you need to use that speed to your advantage, and you're not doing that. Because you're dead. And a Kingdra. Steve could deal with a Kingdra. I mean, no, I mean, no, I mean, James could deal with a Kingdra. Yeah, James could deal with a Kingdra. I know it's Water and Dragon type, and I know it's not very effective, but damn it, you're just spamming agility, and I don't care about you. X attacks are annoying, but like the fact is, if you don't use attacks then there's really no reason for you to even spam X attacks. Die. Okay, let's see what this guy has. Tamer and a Nido Queen. Hmm, I think I would be best going in with either Steve... Yeah, Steve. Yeah, you still have Poison Sting. I'm not worried about you. And this Surf should do a lot of damage to you. Okay, it didn't kill, but literally just straight up destroys... Okay, I got paralyzed. That's annoying. By a paralyzed heal, so it's fine. Scratch? Really? This late stage in the game? There we go. Nice work, Steve. Uh, let's heal you up. With a nice lemonade. And let's give you a paralyzed heal. Because I don't want to be dealing with Paralyze. Halt. Okay, I will halt. But you better give me a good reason to halt. That's my champ. That's an okay reason to halt. You know, catch this razor leaf. That should do a lot of damage. Oh my god, it does a lot of damage. Yeah, about that X attack you're using. Please stop. James goes to level 56. Awesome. Okay, what do you have? You have a Nido King. Um, I think I'd be okay to come in with Tommy here. 
Tackle? Really? I'm glad that Mega Horn isn't a thing in this game. Because otherwise I would be in trouble. Actually, we might be able to face Giovanni. To, I mean, the final gym leader today. By the way, Giovanni is the final gym leader. Spoilers. A polyrath. Are you going to live one of these? I don't think you should. Nah, you don't. Cool. Primate. Elisa. Uh, Up you go. Please don't live the fly. Please don't live the fly. I don't want to be dealt with an X attack. Thank you. Hit my on top. Go back up, please, Lisa. Extreme speed. That's fine. Although I probably... Although you probably should have hit me with extreme speed before I flew. Because it's supposed to have priority. Maybe it doesn't have priority in this game. Yeah, that should have hit before fly. Because extreme speed would have higher priority than speed matchups. But it doesn't really matter. Extreme speed would have done nothing. It's fine. Cypher. Um, let's go into Lisa. Double team. I don't like it. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Okay, right. Let's go to Zap, because Zap is a move that can hit through double teams. Damn police cars annoying me. Swords! Yeah. Stop using swords! It's just scaring me. Stop with the swords. Oh, I hit the Thunderbolt. I wasn't expecting to hit the Thunderbolt. Thank you, Zap. And a Raichu. Uh, I'm going to set the light screen. And then I'm going to switch the hell out into James, who can deal with the light chip. And benefits from the light screen. So die, right chip. Ooh, nice. Oh. Growl. Don't like it, but... You're not going to win this cut. Nice work, Zap and James. Good work. Uh, let's lemonade. Because Lisa needs it. And let's go on to face the final person. Hello. I'm back. Uh, I'm... I'm in black, so what? I'm thinking... Uh, you think I'm a member of that Prophetic Rocket Organization. Wrong. I'm a pallet patroller. For now, until I take over this organization for myself. Leaving pure red Ed, by himself. He wants to get more members uh, of different colors. But that's just dumb, dude. As for you... 
A mere child will never stop our plans, so best leave. Oh, the pallet patrol. That's who you are. Okay, I now know. I was wondering who the hell you were. I just didn't understand where you were coming from, but now I do. Yeah, please don't roar me out. Steve knows what to do against Houndooms. Whoa, this Houndoom lived. Yo, Octazuka. This Houndoom stopped living. Steve goes to level 52. A Weavile. I don't really have any idea for Weavile's. I'm going to stay in with Steve. Ow, that's a crit. I think I need to heal. I think I need to heal. Is Slash gonna always crit? Yeah, Slash gonna always crit. Fine. I need to switch. Oh, you predicted the switch! Okay, I need to I need someone else in here. Oh my god, I can't beat this guy. If he's always gonna crit me, I can't beat this guy. James be I mean Tommy be defensive. Tommy put this thing to sleep! Oh, wait! Come on, go to. S okay, it can go to sleep. Okay. I was a little worried about that. There we go. That should be enough for me to be actually able to kill this thing. We have Shadow Ball now. I know Shadow Ball's not very effective, but it'll do a damage now that we've got two med Meditates up. Nice. Thank you, Tommy. Gliscor. I'm going up again. Oh, uh, there's about half. If you live this, I'm going to be annoyed. Please don't live. Thank you. Okay, I can switch now. An Umbreon. Um. Let's go to Emma. Let's go for the body slam and hopefully get the paralyze. That's what I'm going to keep on hoping for. Paralyze, yes. Fade attacks. That's fine. Emma's defensive. Nice crit, Emma. Nice dead Umbreon. And a haunch crow. Zap. Deal with the haunch crow. Nice. I know this episode is going to be like 40 minutes long, but like I just want to deal with the haunch crow.
There we go. Team Rocket will be mine. Screw Pallet Red. I'm in charge. And there's Giovanni. And we will face him in the next episode of our Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Josh PH Games, and I am out to answer today's question of the day, which of course is What is your favorite Pokemon? What is your favorite game other than Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section down below. I mean, I like Animal Crossing, but what do you like? Let me know. Uh, until next time, me de la Pokemon get us, uh, everybody get Pokemon. Good night.